first armed Russian police officer seized some of the Ukrainian books in this library. Next, Natalia Sharina, the director, was arrested. She is accused of stirring up ethnic hatred, and now, quietly, its shelves have been emptied and its volumes packed up, ready to be merged into another library's collection. Sharina has been under house arrest since then. Her legal team says the case against her is politically motivated. Everything that is connected to Ukraine is related to politics in today's Russia. Even the word borscht, many see politics, even there. Of course, I think that this case is also not free of politics. Those individuals that initiated this case were, of course, motivated by purely political reasons. Human Rights Watch called the charges against Sharina completely unfounded. Sharina faces up to 10 years in jail if found guilty. It's an asymmetrical move to shut down an entire library on extremist grounds, on, on grounds of extremism because of a couple of books that you could easily remove. And I think that's probably the point. I think the point is, I think maybe the point of the exercise is to say we're going to move very harshly and asymmetrically um, uh, when, uh, you know, to score, to score points. The Ukrainian library traces its history back to 1918 and has weathered a Stalin-era clampdown on Ukrainian literature. The saga, along with other measures, suggest political differences between Moscow and Kyiv are driving a wedge between two peoples whose cultures have been interwoven for centuries. It is likely to stoke Ukrainian fears that their culture, as well as their territorial integrity, is under siege. This is Vivica Williams with UATV.